come back down and figure out I want to lay out my tree farm. It's going to be an 8 by 8 section. This place right here looks great for it. So I want to raise it one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bring this dirt over here. I don't need that next. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, four, five. Six, seven, okay, one, two, three, four, four. All right, there's our base, and that's where we'll plant our trees. Let me uh, square it off a little bit here. All right, what makes this tree farm actually work well is um, your monster trees can't grow over unless you have space for them to grow over eight um, they just won't grow that high if they don't have the ability to so what we'll do is I will t go over here and make some half slabs in my crafting bench and we'll take some of this a little terraform you have to do to make this work right And go over here and make some half slabs on my crafting bench in my house. I've added a little walkway here. I'm trying to make it look a little more homey. Um, one, two, three, four. I need, think I need 16. And I'll cut these up like this. Yeah. Gives me 24 half slabs. 860. Ah, that might not be enough. 777 is 28. I need four more. Um. No. Alright. I need to remember to build a pressure plate for that so it'll shut on its own. We're going to go back over to where we laid out our tree farm. And we're going to pillar up. One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight. Now, being careful not to fall off, we're going to set one there. Put our half slab right there and kill that one. Now we're going to step onto our half slab and we're going to build off our half slab. Oops. We'll come back and cut that down later. Uh, like I said, this will give it a nice little ceiling, so you're so you won't grow very big. I'll count these off: one, two, three. Uh, I hate working with the same color block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Eight more. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Well, this could be a little tricky without killing yourself.
Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's right. Looks like it's casting a shadow down on top of it, which it should be. Alright, so down we go. Elevator down. Uh, do I have an axe? No, we'll hit with a pickaxe. I'm going to pickaxe. You're going to make me an axe. Actually, I think those are pickaxes still. I don't think those become axes until um, 1.3.0, another little feature. You're also going to have some great stuff when 1.3.0 does come out. Um, now we want to drop this one more layer on the inside. And we want to put that dirt back right there. I like to have this uh, a little deeper. All right, so what I think I'm going to do, I don't. Rec I think I liked it better when I did it this way. All right, I need to go make me an iron bucket and start moving water in here slowly. First things first. I think it'd be nice if they added leather buckets for water or milk. Um, I know I'd use them. Hmm. Can't make a sword. Don't have any cobble left. Okay, at least a couple pieces of cobble from here. A stick. Do not have a stick. Alright. Whoop. Creepers are going to sink my island for long. Alright. Run down with our bucket to the water's edge. Get us some water. Probably should light this up a little bit too. I'll take two trips to do what I want to do. Make me a nice little infinite water source over here. Already laid out the pattern for it. Come back. If you have your infinite water source, you can pretty much do what you want. A spider tracking me, charging like a friggin'. Ah, I need to heal. I need to beep. <laughs> Didn't notice I needed to eat and almost died. Oh, this is not good. Now that zombie's tracking on me, and I'm gonna have to fight him in my door. Close the door. What do I have? I have some apples. Well, that was kind of scary.
really the one big disadvantage of this is there's no sheep here, so I have no bed and can't sleep to get today. <sighs> yeah, I probably should be doing mining at night, but I'm stubborn and want to get the stuff done that I'm working on. Did you see that creeper? This bitch just went down my hole. Oh, that didn't work. That's going to take some fixing. That I'm going to have to fix. Alright, so let's put some torches out here again. Come on, you. <laughs> Missed me. You're gonna friggin' burn, skeleton! Get that hole. Got your hole right. Yeah, shovel your ass. Where'd your zone? Now, what was I doing? I shit scattered over the four seasons after that death. Alright, let's fix this hole real quick. Let me get right back to you. Okay, that damage is repaired. Now, uh, back on to what we were working on before. Mm, need to put on my chest plate again. Not that it's helping me very much. Uh, it looks like I broke my sword. So I'm on a wooden sword for the time being. There's an iron pickaxe. I really need to sort this, get this shit over with and sort this out. Alright. <clears throat> now, what were we doing? Where's my bucket? Bucket of water. I need to put it on this side. Infinite spring. Alright. Put that back. Try again. did not quite work like I wanted it to. However, if you chop something down, it's going to pull it into the center. No. Alright, let's pull all that. Let's go ahead and just kill all that water going into the middle. Alright, so that didn't quite work like I wanted it to, but water hydrates eight spots, so this will still work. Um, we'll just leave a lip here. Uh, 
run around the edge, clean up some of the space over here. Um, now we got that up in the sky. Um, the other thing you want to do, that I always do, is cover this in. This way you don't have to jump in and out of the water to grab your trees. Get out now, can I? Yep, I got out. Okay. All right. So finish this up. All right. So that's the inside. Now, again, <clears throat> on the outside, you want to go two half slabs out. I don't know if I have enough half slabs right now to do this part of it. So that part's not as important. Let's go ahead and get these trees planted and start them on their merry little progress towards growing. I feel like Johnny Appleseed in this game some days. So just walking around planting trees. <clears throat> Alright, so we got that planted. Oh, what do we need to do now? Um, basically take a break, let some trees grow, chop some trees down. So let's go visit Paul, because he's been lonely. I see his tree built for him, so he's got some shade. How you feeling, Paul? Nice out there in the shade? I'm glad you like it. Looks like you got a giant tree hat on almost. All right. Uh. Hey, let's run back and make us an axe and start chopping down some trees. Huh? Yeah, some more pumpkins are grown. Let's do some. You need an axe really to harvest them, so let's let them sit. Then we get in our axe. Alright, oh, left door open. First things first. I was thinking about putting some half slabs there, but it doesn't look right right this second, so we'll just let it be. All right, um, I need to make uh, an axe and uh, do some more work around here. I'll come back and show you some more later. All right, well, some of the things I like to do with these pumpkins are to dig dig them down and put them where they're not normally at, where they light up and you only get to see the top of them. Maybe later on come back and put a uh, bush over it. I almost like to make glowing trees, but now's not the time to make glowing trees. Don't have any extra iron to spare. I'll put this one here. Give us some light. Die. Come on, Paul. You're supposed to help me, man. I slowly light this island up a little better. We've already got our first stack of wood. Tree farm starting to work. Trees starting to pop up. Um, I'll take some bones over that bones over there and make some uh, stuff happen real quick. I've only got one, so won't be very much. Pop up a couple trees. Now they don't always work, but when they do, work it nice and quick. The whole idea is once you have a whole bunch of bone meal, you can uh, make all these trees spawn on command. Um, that way you can just come over here and really increase your your uh, your wood supply in a rapid manner. 
Alright. Go back to the house and make some more. You know what? Let's not. Let's build me a craft. I'm going to be over here a lot. Let's put me a crafting bench in the ground over here. We'll put it right there. Oh, well, I can stop running back and forth like a knucklehead. Alright, now, these these are going to change, these wooden slabs are going to change and no longer be fireproof in upcoming patches. So, what we want to do is use them where we can. I'm not sure if it's going to affect the way the mobs spawn on it yet. Haven't heard anybody make uh, any sort of... Um, any sort of change on those that uh, they might be changing. Alright, oh, now this is a little better. Um, probably should go out to So while we've been working on this, we've been increasing our trees, our lumber popula or lumber count, whatever you want to call it, just slowly but surely. Um, and this is kind of what it's going to look like. I'll come back and, uh, you know, I'll, what do I, I think I'll go ahead and I'll do it now. Go ahead and add, add some uh, stairs around the edge and some corner bricks to make it look a little bit better. That should cover it, so let's do some stairs. Alright, we've got this. We'll go ahead and take all that. That's not enough. Stairs are made by making it look like a stair in the box, of course. And then we'll take these and... Uh, Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Didn't change my. Probably need to take a break after I finish putting some of these stairs in. Starting to make some mistakes. That looks good right there. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. Try to get the end done. I'm going to take a break. Um, hope you're having fun. I know I'm not talking a lot, but I think that's more because I'm kind of wiped out for some reason. Uh, I might just give you overviews. Come back and show you this. Wipe off the voice and give you a couple things. Let you know what's going on. I'm going to take a break, though. Hope you're having fun. Bye. All right. Well, this is what the finished uh, tree farm looks like. Um, as you can see, trees are already growing. There's no massive trees that will grow in this. You can get into the inside and to the outside. And you have your little starter tree farm. All this extra stuff outside is, of course, you know, not necessary, but it looks really good. And uh, you can run around and make sure there's a torch on every corner.
about the only thing I forgot to do was light it up. And now there it is. Probably should get up top and light up the top too. Of course those are half slabs. Monsters aren't supposed to spawn on half slabs. so That should be alright in all actuality. Let's go check the pumpkin farm. Pumpkin farm is again doing well. And I'm still freaking killing that pumpkin. Check out the farm over here. It's getting quite large. But it's a slow process with uh, only a few extra pieces of wheat at a time and no real good su supply of uh, bone at this point. My uh, inventory is getting a little crazy. Alright, let me go ahead and jump into here and call it a night. Hope you enjoyed this. As always, Stay safe and have fun. Chris, again, I hope you're enjoying the Let's Play videos, uh, uh, especially this one about the making of the tree farm. Uh, I think I'm going to have to add some some uh, chests around it because it looks a little barren without them. I um, hope you're enjoying this. Give me a like and a uh, favorite and subscribe and hope to see you in the future. Stay safe. Have fun.